Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, let's discuss or let's solve what we have on the board. So we have x multiplied by x multiplied by x is equal to x multiplied by x. Sorry, minus x multiplied by x is equal to 100. So um, x multiplied by x multiplied by x is simply x to the power of 3, right? So we can write x to the power of 3 minus x squared is equal to 100. Okay, all I'm going to do now is to bring this in because we just formed um, a cubic polynomial. So we have x to the power of 3 minus x squared minus 100 is equal to 0. So there are so many ways we can solve a cubic polynomial, so many ways. But there is this particular method I always love to use, and that is the try and error method, okay? It's, it saves me a lot of time because it works for almost all of them, okay? So what does that one? How do I do that? All I need to do is I'm going to um, use try and error to get the first value of x. Then I'm going to use that value to divide um, whatever we have here synthetically to get our quadratic equation. Is it right? So that's exactly what we are going to do. Now, when you look at this, the first value you are going to notice is that your x is equal to 5. Yes, because 5 to the power of 3 minus, please pardon my writing, I'm actually right-handed. So, but here, I'm supposed to be writing with my left, but I can't write with my left. So I have to force myself to write with my ha right hand so as to have enough board to work with. Okay, so what am I writing? All right, let's continue. So like I said, the first value of x that is so noticeable is 5. Because if we say 5 to the power of 3 minus 5 squared minus 100 is equal to 0. Now, 5 to the power of 3 will give us uh, 1, 2, 5, right? So we have 1, 2, 5 minus 5 squared, we give us 25, minus 25, right? Minus 100 is equal to 0. 1, 2, 5 minus 25, we give you 100, minus 100 is equal to 0. And this is true, right? So we can say that x is equal to 5. So this is what we are now going to do. So we we'll write that x is equal to 5, and this implies that x minus 5 is equal to 0. So this becomes our root and this becomes our what? Our uh, factor. Okay, so we are going to use this to synthetically divide whatever we have here. Now, this is how you do it. So we are going to write this 5 here and we are going to write the coefficients of whatever we have here. We are going to write it out. Now, the coefficients we have here is 1x to the power of 3, so we are going to write 1. Then, Excuse me, we have minus 1 here, so we write minus 1. Now, if you look at this very closely, you are going to notice that we don't have x. And x is supposed to be here before we have our words, our constant. And for the fact that x is not there, simply means that we have 0 as the coefficient of x, right? So that means we have 0 representing x, then we have minus 100. So the first thing we need to do is to bring down the first number, which is 1. Then we multiply and sub and add. So we are going to multiply 5 by 1 to give us 5. Now minus 5 plus 1 we give us 4, right? Now 5 times 4 we give us 20. 0 plus 20 we give us 20. Now 5 times 20 we give us 100. And minus 100 plus 100 we give us 0. Once you're able to get 0 here, that means that the, not the x or the value that the root you used is actually a root, okay? Now, what do we do? Now, we have formed our, what, our quadratic equation, which is this, this, this. This forms the coefficients of the terms of our quadratic equation. So, if we say x minus 5 is equal to 0, that means this is what we have. x minus 5, okay, multiplied by, let's form our quadratic from here. So, this is x right x squared 1x squared plus 4x plus 4x plus 20 plus 20 all right is equal to zero everything is equal to zero okay now this is a, a this is this the place where we need to equate the two 
brackets to be equal to zero i would advise you watch to the end of this video yes because it's really interesting at the end like how we got the values is really interesting now we have that x minus 5 is equal to 0 and we have that x squared plus 4x plus 20 is equal to 0. Now from the first uh, term or from the first equation, sorry, we can see that x is equal to 5. Yes, because we transfer minus 5 to the other side, it becomes 5, okay? Now coming to this side, we are going to use the quadratic equation formula to solve for the value of x. Now, the quadratic equation formula is in this form, that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. Now, what is the value of our a, b, and c? So, when you look at this closely, in oh, this is supposed to be ax squared, plus bx plus c, right, is equal to zero. This is the ideal form of a quadratic equation. So that simply means that our a is the coefficient of x squared. And in this case, our a is one. So we write a to be one. Our b is the coefficient of x, which is four. So our b is four. And our c is the constant, which is 20, all right? Now we are going to sub substitute these values into this particular uh, what do I call it? Formula, yeah, to get the value of our x. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. So our x is equal to minus b, that is minus 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is 4 squared, and we, we are going to have 16, right? Minus 4ac, that is 4 multiplied by 1, multiplied by 20, right? And 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 20 should give us 80. So we have minus 80, all right? Everything divided by 2a, that is 2 times 1, which will give us 2. Okay, so we continue. That means that our x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus the square root of Okay, this doesn't need to be big again. Now, 16 minus 80 should give us 64. Should give us 64. So we have minus 64, right? Divided by 2. Now, that means that our x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus. Let me continue from here. Yeah. So that we don't uh, cut the board. All right. So we have x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus now square root of minus 64 can be written as square root of 64 multiplied by square root of minus 1 now everything divided by 2 yes before i forget if you have if you have seen this face for the first time please don't forget just subscribe have you done that <laughs> okay please subscribe then on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. So I don't miss my amazing videos, okay? And don't forget to like, comment, and share. Yes, it really means a lot to me. As it helps the algorithm to pick, to push my videos towards to the right audience. All right. Now, we have that x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus. Now, square root of 64 is 8. And square root of minus 1 is i, all right? divided by 2. Therefore, our x is equal to minus 4 divided by 2 plus or minus 8i divided by 2. Therefore, we have that x is equal to, this we divide this to give us minus 2 plus or minus, this we divide this to give us 4i, all right? Okay, so this simply means, right, that our x is equal to minus 2 plus 4i, or our x is equal to minus 2 minus 4i, plus the fact that our x is also equal to 5. Thank you so much for watching, and have a lovely day.